YouTube, it's Matt with, hold on. Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Little Reptiles. That's a lot better. I just had to quiet the room down and listen to this. It's like a musical instrument. Okay. We are going to actually look at the inside of a rattlesnake today. So how we got this, this is one of our wild caught ones out of Oklahoma. Uh, by the way, holding the rattle doesn't hurt them at all. This is, there's no nerves in there. It's all just, it's really cool to feel. You felt that? Well, it's going. It's really neat. Anyway, wild caught out of Oklahoma. As you can see, her color is not that of a normal Western Diamondback. So really, really cool snake. We want to see if maybe we can see any babies in there. It's going to be a little different because we don't know how it's going to look with these versus like pythons. Uh, so what are we doing to do this safely? Well, we have Anna here. She has got her little machine to look inside the black magic inside of the snake. And we have put the snake inside of a tub or a tube. tube. Now, as you can see, she can almost turn her head around, which is what we don't really like in here. However, she is such a thick bodied snake. This is the proper size I had to use. Otherwise, she'd get stuck in there and I'd have to cut it too, but that is not a lot of fun. I've actually had to do that before it's stuck. Uh, so because she's so large, <laughs> yeah, she's a lot of fun. So anyway, we're going to get started. I'm going to silence this just so you can hear Anna and you can see the screen. So what are you looking for here, Anna? Um, that's a good question. There's really a ball know. python, I can tell you. So yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing... Using a ball python, you aim for about two thirds of the way up to look for the gallbladder, and her scales are going to make this, you know, probably a little bit different too. That's something. That's something. We so see we just keep something going down. Um, it could be a gallbladder. That could be an egg sac. Now they're in. Now are they going to be? Does she carry the eggs like a ball python, like a carpet, and then lay? She never Sorry, lays uh, eggs. Boa is what I'm thinking. Yes. It'd be very similar does, to boa does. That would be the best way to describe it. So, well. What is all that? That looks like an egg. So we may be seeing a sack right there. Yeah, an egg sack. So, unfortunately. You need a lot more lube, sweet pea. That's what she said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I can't help myself, y'all. I'm terrible. Okay. The scales are playing havoc. There's they a hold lot air, so, and that yes, keeled, and um, that affects the ultrasound. So, but and for those of you that wonder, like how you learn to do this, you can kind of learn on your own. But Anna's got a lot of experience because you used to work in a vet clinic doing this a little bit all the time. With animals. Oh yeah, yeah, I was a vet tech for 25 years, so so just um, you kind of move it around a little bit to try and get the best angle. Let's see what you can see. A lot of you're seeing a, uh, the black lines are her ribs. And... Really? Seriously. Change the pitch. The eggs. So you are seeing eggs, you think? That's kind of what those look like, yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome. Yep, just so. a nice cluster of little eggs in there. That does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. That is actually really cool. Uh, I gotta let her make a little noise. My hands get tired of holding there. So the how you do this safely, one, it's like that old Saturday Night Live sketch. You gotta have something with a hole. I'm not going to do the whole sketch. You put the snake in the hole, okay? And then you got to hold the body here because it can back out of this tube. So the way I do this is I've got, she's getting pissed at Luke getting wiped off of her. Uh, is I've actually got my hand on the snake and I got my hand on the tube. God gave me four fingers and since I'm not an idiot and I haven't been snake bit and lost half of them, I can put two on the tube and two on the snake and make sure I'm holding both at the same time to keep her in there. I don't want her head to be able to stretch out here, okay? She can't lunge and get my fingers. I can do this all day long. You know, she straightens out and gets, she can probably get to about there. It'd be a little scary, but she's not able to bite me. Sometimes I do let their head get all the way out. That's typically when I'm wanting to do some work on the face. So I have a stuck shed or an eye cap I need to remove. We'll get the head to the very end and then use some tools. This is always, always, always a two person job. And the reason I say that is, can you do it by yourself? Yeah, you can. You can do a lot of things by yourself, but it's not smart. So be smart. 
And the reason it's a two-person job, and we actually have three here because somebody's obviously holding the camera. Say hi, Caleb. Hello. Uh, is you want one person to focus to be on the animal, not on this, on the animal, right? I need to watch her more, deal with her more, and everything else while they're working. If my focus was split or if Anna was doing this by herself, she's trying to hold this and do it at the same time, that's all fine on a ball python or a carpet python or whatever. Not okay on a venomous snake. That's how you get bit. You need to not divide and conquer, you need to divide and conquer the task here. You also have to trust who you're working with. Because if who you're working with is a moron or doesn't have the experience or hasn't been taught and doesn't make sure that the snake is properly in the tube or the tube is too big where it can fully wrap around. I even said the tube's a little too big, but you look back here, look how much of that's filled. That snake can't double back. This is why we had to go that route. This is a very, very thick rattlesnake. So what are we hoping to, oh, sorry girl, I know I moved too fast. I love you. Uh, what are we hoping to produce here? Uh, really, so, and this is very thick. She can't bite through. If she did bite through, then I would look like an idiot. And we'd still show it because it'd be funnier than hell. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't think it was funny. But it would be a life lesson my wife would make me watch over and over again about why you don't kiss rattlesnakes. So, anywho, uh, what are we hoping to produce here? Well, this has been bred to another one of our wild-caught Oklahoma rattlesnakes, which is our, one of our red males. Now, we proved that red gene out last year. We produced reds. There. Fucking awesome. I wish I could show you one, but our holdback's hiding right now, so we won't make it come out. They're great. Uh, this is like what I would call, like, we kind of nicknamed it the acid, uh, but it's, it's really what it is, is it appears to be hypomelanistic. So it looks like what you'd call in ball pythons a ghost, what the rest of the world would call a hypomelanistic. Uh, and that's kind of how it looks. Looks like you just strip one layer of colors off, made for a really dye bug. Made for a really cool coloration on the snake. You do have a little bit of scar tissue here. That happened from before I got her. Uh, no big problem. That's been there forever, so I'm not too worried about it. Otherwise, she looks great. Uh, I love her. So what will her babies be like? You ready for this? And you take that red and you mix with this. You know, you're thinking, man, you can almost get like pink. Yeah, that'd be kick-ass. We're not going to get it. They're all going to look normal because most of the genetics, the very vast majority, save maybe one or two that I've heard of, in Western Diamondbacks have been recessive, Okay. That means these are going to likely be recessive too. So we produced that red. It was a red to red. That's why it was able to show. I fully expect all of her babies will look normal. That means I have to keep a boy and I have to keep a girl and I have to do a Kentucky uh, or Arkansas, wherever you want, whatever state you hate, we'll just call it West Kentucky C pairing and see if we can't produce a double recessive visual to get that pink looking baby that we want to get. I think it's possible. I think this will prove out. The reason I feel so good about it is I'll fucking look at it, you know? And two, tell me a reptile or a snake breed that's been bred in captivity for a very long time that doesn't have a hypomelanistic. I'll wait. They're out there on almost everything in some way, shape, or form. It's a very, very common morph. So for it not to be reproducible in these would be kind of shocking, to be honest. So um, that's what we're going to do. And I love this snake. She is one of my favorites just because she's... She's big. This is a big female. So when you get these westerns too, it is opposite of what you know about ball pythons, right? You're thinking, well, yeah, of course she's big. She's a female. No, 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 no. When you get into your westerns, your males are the big ones and your females are the small ones. Same with timbers, same with most of your cordless species, if not all. So what you get with this, when I say she's a big female, I've got males that are a lot longer than this, guys. This is not a super long rattlesnake, uh, but look how thick she is. Part of that is she's carrying babies. Part of that is she's not. That's why we weren't so sure on it until we checked her because it's just hard to say. You can also see now the scale spreading through here. She's trying to flatten out. So and she can't do it all the way because she's full of egg sac. Uh, but they'll flatten out when they're pissed to look bigger. They also flatten out for some heat regulation. So Caleb, any questions? Negative. Anna, any questions? No. Rattlesnake, any questions? All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.